Good day tourists, welcome to today's trip headed to the resilient and vibrant Izal. Everyone, let me introduce myself. I'm Christine, your tour guide for today. And with us, Coach Captain Pharrell will keep our safety under our tentative roof. Say hi! Great! Our team from CJ Travel and Tours are very excited and delighted to have you for today's trip. But before we start, for our safety, please remember maps and meet some time. A. Always be a responsible tourist. P. Preserve the cleanliness of the bus and of the places that we will be visiting. And S. Socialize and observe body-to-body -body system. Also, please remember that our bus number is bus number 4. What's our bus number again? Great! I ask that you remain seated at until we reach our destination and that you will not eat or drink while on the bus. Secondly, please realize that it is against the law to get drunk in public, but do drink responsibly. Enjoy your vacation. It is truly our pleasure to tour you around. One more thing, I have a flag, which means you have your time to go around. Afterwards, if you hear a whistle, it means we're about to head to our next destination. Is that okay? In a few minutes, we will be arriving to our first destination. Hi everyone, my name is Prince Charles Obade and I will be guiding you through Antipolo Cathedral, the National Shrine of Our Lady of Peace in Good Voyage, which also known as Nuestra Señora de la Paz y Buen Viaje. It was brought by Governor General Juan Niño de Tabora in 1626. And his voyage across the Pacific Ocean was attributed to the image, which was given the title of Our Lady of Peace in Good Voyage. It receives its pontifical decree on 18th of June, 1925, and it was officially canonized in 28th of November, 1926. When the governor Tabora died in 1632, the statue was given to the Jesuits for the enshrinement in the Antipolo Church. <whistles> Alright, and now let's head on to the Hinilugan Tap Tap. But before that, are you ready? Alright, did you know that the Hinilugan Tap Tap came from the word large bell? Hinilugan Tap Tap derived its name from a large bell which is Tap Tap which was thrown in the falls during the 25th or 16th century because the villagers considered it too loud. Since then, it has become known as Hinulugan Tak Tak and the falls is uh, accessible through the Tak Tak Road near the cathedral. The falls flows through Sapang Bajo River or also known as Intipolo River or Tak Tak River which flows through the Laguna de Bay through the Mangahan Floodways. Good day everyone, my name is Julian Biska. You can call me Judy. I am your tour guide for today. On behalf of CJ Travel Tours, welcome to Pinto Art Museum. Are you ready to get inside? Let's go! Pinto Art Museum is an exhibit space and contemporary museum here in Antipolo outside of Manila. The museum was founded in 2010 to publicly exhibit the art collection of Filipino neurologist and patron of the arts, Dr. Joven Juana. Established in 2010, Pinto Art Museum was born from the art collection of its founder, neurologist Dr. Joven Kuanang, who wanted to open connections between diverse culture and perspective through arts, hence the name Pinto, which means door. For our next destination, once we arrive, you will meet your new tour guide. Thank you and God bless. Good day, tourists. I'm Tour Guide Just Real, or you can call me Just. We will arrive at the hotel in 10 minutes, therefore I would like to ask all of you to check all your baggage with you. Please do not leave anything unattended on the bus because we cannot take responsibility for it. 
On behalf of CJ Chava and Tours, I welcome you to Leblanc Hotel and Resort. This will be your accommodation for your three days and two nights stay. The hotel has comfort rooms and appealing amenities. The hotel staff are very accommodating, so if you need anything else, please don't hesitate to ask for their help. Bistro, our on-site restaurant, which serves all day breakfast dishes and offers a variety of local and international cuisines that is available for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For those who have fun under the sun, you can go swimming with cabanas. You can also use the hotel's spa and sauna if you want to relax. I hope you enjoy your stay here and I also like to remind all of you that after you are done arranging your baggages, we will start again with the tour and I will take you at the Balao Balao restaurant and art gallery to take your lunch. Alright tourists, I'm Tour Guide Jasriel again and welcome to Balao Balao restaurant. Balao Balao Restaurant combines good food and art. It started in 1980s as painting studio and today it's considered one of the best local restaurants in Rizal. It offers additional Filipino dishes as well as local delicacies that can be found in Rizal and even exotic food such as Nilasing na palaka or frog marinated in alcohol, camaro, fried cricket, uok, coconut worm, balut, and balls among others. The restaurant looks like a gigantic nipa hat and the inside is spacious and lit with warm light. Did you enjoy your food? Alright, sounds great! I think we're all set. Let me tour around. In this area, you will find souvenir section where you can buy souvenir and food products as well as a bit of art pieces. Here, there, are also, there is also a mask and miniature version of Higantes or paper mache used in Higantes Festival. There is also a separate two-story art gallery where you can see paintings and sculptures of Pertigon, Bukalan, the late owners, and other local artists as well as religious artifacts. How was your experience? Alright, great! I think you enjoyed the food and have information about the art gallery. Okay, now we will be headed again to the boss, but first, let's have an ahead go. 1, 2, 15, 20, 30... Okay, we are all set. In few minutes, we will arrive at, Binang at Angona Binangon and Petro Gibbs, and there you will meet your next tour guide. Good day, everyone. My name is Cheska Menes. You can call me Ches, and I am your tour guide for today. On behalf of CJ Travel and Tours, welcome to Angono Binangon and Petro Gibbs. Are you ready? Let's go inside. Did you know that Angono Petro Gibbs carved into a rock wall in Angono Rizal? It consists of 127 human and animal figures engraved on the rock wall, probably carved during the late Neolithic or before 2000 BC. They are the oldest known work of art in the Philippines. The petroglyphs was accidentally discovered by the national artist Carlos or Botong Francisco while he was lying down on a rock shelter during a field trip with a group of boys down in 1965. And the Angona petroglyphs are considered to be the oldest known work of art in the Philippines. There are 127 different human and animal figures engraved on the rock wall, and the rock wall itself is unshallow, sheltered, and the rare of a king. And let's go travel back to Angono, town proper. Angono is known as the art capital of the Philippines. This is the first-class municipality in the province of Rizal, Philippines. According to 2020 census, it has a population of 130,494 people. Being a hometown of national artists for music, Lucio San Pedro, and national artists of visual arts, Carlos Botong Francisco. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoy our tour and get Hey tourists, I am Abby from CJ Travel and Tours. Now before you take your dinner, our last destination here in Angono is the Blanco Family Art Museum. The museum houses the vast collection of artworks produced by the Blanco family of painters headed by the renowned painter Jose Pito B. Blanco. The Blanco family has produced 
a prodigious area of vision art depicting Amonos' idyllic rural life, colorful fiesta, and religious celebration. Experience the pleasing and relaxing painting of Blanco Family Museum and be one of the witness of their great works of arts in Amonos Rizal, a museum that accommodates an anthology of paintings by the members of the family as well as some memorabilia to the years. Inside the museum, Blanco Family uh, Museum is within the walls of a sizable property. The ground floor holds house the hundreds of families paintings while the upper floor holds the atelier that give birth to those artwork. Inside the halls, a frame collage of Tawny Newspaper Clipping Greats Museum Victor's a July 19, 19th feature on Pito Blanco's Magnum Opus. The artwork display has nine sections, one of each of the Blanco's artists. It's begin with Peter Paul Innocent Doodles from his toddler years. The older siblings works follow until the eldest Glenn's artworks, then luring painting, and finally, Pitok Morales. That's all for the first day of your tour. Some of our agents are waiting for you to have a dinner at Balo Balo Restaurant. Good evening, tourists. Your day today is filled with colorful art history of Rizalenos and other local Filipino artists. We are here again at Balo Balo Restaurant to take your dinner. We will offer the two main dish for tonight. First is Minaluto fish with two versions. The first version came in yellow rice and the other version is in squid ink. Minaluto is sort of local versions of Spanish paella. It is a rice mix with seafood, fried chicken, and pork. The second dish is pain beef la uya soup, a sweetened version of nilaga, which is perfect for complement to the cold drizzly night and cold some and cold some follow juice for drinks. All right, dear tourists, I'd like to inform you that this will be your last destination for tonight. Get yourself ready. I also like to remind you to check all your things and do not leave anything unattended. Right, we are now heading to the bus. We will travel back to Antipolo for your lodging. Again, tourists, I'm sure you can But we just have arrived at the hotel. Please enjoy the rest of the night and relax for another adventure for tonight.